uniqueness, being one of one. Is it overrated? That's what I want to talk about in today's video. What makes you unique? What makes you different? And does it matter for business success? That's what I would love to discuss. But before we jump into it, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe down below. What makes me unique? Let's start with that. Is it my interests? Is it the fact that I talk about cold email? Is it the fact that I have a YouTube channel or that I'm constantly tweeting stuff or running these SaaS companies? What makes me unique? Is it my skills, uh, the skill stack of high value skills, copywriting, email marketing, all that sort of stuff? Or does uniqueness come from morality? You know, like those kind of choices, family situation, the way that I make decisions, that sort of stuff. Why is uniqueness important? Why does it matter if you're unique? If you look at the most successful businesses of all time, they're not unique. McDonald's sells hamburgers. How many hamburger restaurants exist out there? Sony sells TVs. You know, how many TV places are out there? Toyota sells cars. These are businesses that exist within a huge market of other companies. Even Lead Shark is a lead generation database. There are a ton of those. And yet we're seeing sales, we're seeing success. So why are we so concerned about being unique and different? This is the way that I think about uniqueness. I think that your uniqueness and your difference have more place to shine by working within the, the constraints of somebody else's system. So for instance, if I started a burger restaurant, that burger restaurant, just from the fact that I started it and I was running it, would be unique and different. Now, if I started you know, some unique, different thing, if it's too unique and different, then it wouldn't hit. So true uniqueness, true difference comes from leveraging everything that has happened in the past and then putting your own spin on it. So for instance, with these YouTube videos, our YouTube videos, I would argue, are fairly unique, fairly different from the other videos that are out on YouTube. Is that because we're trying to be unique and trying to be different? No. In fact, the less unique, the less different we are, the better these videos do. When I talk about cold email or motivation or business mindset, we hit. When I talk about you know art or painting or starting a movie business or whatever, they don't hit. They don't have the, the wide reach that we thought. So if you go unique, then you risk not hitting. And, and what I've actually found is you want to be unique about, you know, 5%, 95% the same, 5% unique. You know, you're not going to go to McDonald's or a new burger restaurant and expect them to serve like, you know, slime sandwiches. You know, you're going to want them to have food, right? That's maybe 10%. You got to serve food at a restaurant. Maybe another 20% is it's a burger restaurant. You probably should have burgers, you know, then there's other stuff like maybe 20% is like they got to have fries and sodas. So when you say burger restaurant, 90% of it's already done. When I say business YouTube channel, most of it's already done. You know what to expect. And now we have that 10% to give us uniqueness. When I say lead generation database, you know what to expect. And then that 10% is unique. So what you should think about when you're going for your uniqueness, think about where you fit in, in terms of what you actually want to do. Pick a thing and then innovate on top of that. There's no need to start from scratch. All the best innovations from humanity have happened within that as well. You know, when, uh, when Einstein was trying to come up with the theory of relativity, he didn't start from scratch. You know, he looked at physics. Physics had already existed for hundreds of years and then he put his own unique spin on it, found the theory of relativity. When we were trying to grow our business, we didn't start from scratch. We looked at books you know, like Traction, great book, that outline all of the different things that your business can do. And then you pick from the menu and then we put our own unique spin on all of that. So the quest for uniqueness and the quest for complete difference, complete originality is a false quest. And I think it, it is a recipe for failure. The more original you try to be, the more you throw out everything that's come before it, the more... Uh, unrecognizable you are, and actually the worse the, the art or the finished product is. Think about a music album that was completely unique. 
you know, that didn't have a tempo that you've ever heard before, wasn't playing in a key that you've heard before, uh, wasn't structured in a way that you've ever heard, maybe wasn't even in English, you know, <laughs> completely unique, completely different. It would not be good music. And so when you think about what makes you unique, what makes you different, think about that. So now you've decided on your thing. You know, I'm going to be 90% similar in this area. And it doesn't mean 90% similar to one specific person. Like I wouldn't say, you know, I'm going to be 90% similar to McDonald's if I was to use the burger uh, analogy. I'm not going to say I'm going to start a burger restaurant that's 90% similar to McDonald's. I would say I'm going to start a fast food burger restaurant. And that way you'd pick like five, six inspirations. You don't want to be the same as one person, be the same as like five or six people. And then your uniqueness shines through on top. I don't even think you have to plan it. I think if I go through and let's say I was trying to be like an impersonator of Grant Cardone, if I tried to make like a Grant Cardone style video, it would still be, you know, Alex Berman video just from the fact that, that it's me. That is me doing the content. If I, if I try to tweet like Elon Musk, there's still going to be Alex Berman tweets. They're not going to be Elon Musk tweets because they're coming from me. So that's the other thing, especially when it comes to personality-driven content and business content. If you try to write a cold email like me, it's not going to be like me because you're going to have your case studies. You're going to have everything in there that's you. So even if you try to perfectly impersonate everything that I'm doing, it's still going to be you in the end. It's still going to be unique and still going to be different. So I wouldn't even try to pursue the uniqueness and difference because that would be forcing it. And that uh, in, and of, in, a, in its essence, I think would ruin a lot of the, the magic that would truly make your content or your business, et cetera, would, it would truly make it unique. The other thing to think about when it comes to business strategy and uniqueness and difference is a lot of the uniqueness and difference will come from talking to customers. So for instance, with Lead Shark, with our lead generation database where you can go in, get millions of verified contacts, we talked to users and we found that a lot of users are using lead databases and the main thing that they're concerned about is bounce rate on the leads. They'll go to some of these databases that I don't want to name. They'll download 100 leads and 60 of the 100 will bounce. And they're just super annoyed. There's nothing they can do. So that's why we added real-time email verification to Lead Shark because that would reduce the bounce rate. Another thing that nobody caught in the lead gen space, which I don't know why, is the company names and all these leads are like, you know, like Acme Inc., or Acme LLC in the company name. So you have to spend time manually cleaning it. I don't know why nobody wrote an algorithm to remove the LLCs and the inks. We wrote that for Lead Shark. Now you can download leads and they're cold email ready. So our uniqueness and our differentiator, yes, we started as another lead gen database. There's so many of them. But our uniqueness and our differentiator came from focusing on the customer and working through the process that way. Similar to this channel, our uniqueness and our differentiator, I would say we're hitting a stride with the content. Maybe you agree, maybe, maybe you don't. Hit me down in the comments and let me know. But I would say our uniqueness and our differentiator came once we understood that. Once we understood that we need to talk to users, we need to talk to you guys and see what you want. And a lot of you want motivational content, but a lot more of you as well want these tutorials. You want to know how to send cold emails. You want to know how to do this stuff that we thought was so basic, but only because we're so deep in the issue. We're so, we've been solving the problem for so long that we didn't realize that you want to watch a video on like, you know, how to set up a Gmail account or how to write an email signature. We've been so far removed from the process that we forgot that the beginner's mindset actually exists. And then now that uniqueness is going to come through in our channel. You know, we're not gonna be like somebody like a Alex Hormozzi trying to just hype you up for business. We're not gonna be like an Evan Carmichael showing you, you know, motivational quotes of Steve Jobs to get you hyped. We're our own thing. And that uniqueness came out over time by creating thousands and thousands of videos. So if you're worried about being unique, if you're worried about being different, stop worrying. The key to breaking through, the key to being unique, and the key to being different is creating content. Create a lot of content, launch a lot of products, get your thing in front of viewers, get your thing in front of customers, and then they'll tell you what you need to change in order to be unique. That is the key. 
Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to smash that like button to encourage this type of content on YouTube. Subscribe for more content like this, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. I'm Alex Berman.